Uh, my name's Robert Taylor, and I've been coming to Wells Branch Community Church for two weeks now. Asked Chris for his email a couple weeks ago. God had put a real heavy burden on my heart. I've been, I watch a lot, a lot of leadership videos, and I was watching one, and the guy in the video said, every Christian is either a missionary or an imposter. And that had a, a huge impact on me. And I wanted to pick Chris's brain, a few questions that I'd been struggling with and wanted to have answered. I thought I was an imposter because for about the last 10 years of my life, the, the further I got into my baseball career, the further I got away from God. And I definitely hadn't invited anybody to church with me. And if people were following me or following my lead, they definitely weren't being led to church. I didn't grow up in the church uh, or have any kind of relationship with God. My sophomore year of high school, a good friend of mine asked me if I'd like to go to church with him. I was reluctant, told him no quite a few times. It took him about six months for him to convince me to even go. I went, God was definitely working on my heart and you know, I, I continued to go back with him and eventually started attending pretty pretty regularly at non-denominational church because denominations had kept me out of the church for so long. I came to Wells Branch because I was looking to be connected. I wanted to be a part of a community. A good friend of mine, Jeremy Ortiz, invited me, said that he had Chris mentoring him and that he had a lot of guys around his age that were really good leaders and had had a, a large impact on his life. So when Chris Holland and Jeremy and I went uh, to get coffee, I really felt like I was an imposter and I wanted to find out how to prepare myself to be used by God every day. I mean, I've always wanted to go on mission trips outside of the country, but that's typically pretty much one week out of the year and I want to be used by God every day. Before that conversation, I, I wasn't really sure if I was going to heaven or really how how it was to get there. After that conversation, I know that Jesus came and he died on the cross for my sins and was resurrected. And that's how I get to go to heaven. Moving forward, I'm really excited about being used by God to see him use me and other people's lives to bring them closer to God. <laughs> I'm getting baptized today because it is an outward expression of what I know in my heart. 